Right everyone, welcome to the next episode of our adventure with Deportivo La Coruña, back to Europe, that is the aim. So, the last time you joined me was our opening game of the season, which we managed to win. And so I'm going to drop in on the save now and get you up to date with what's been happening on and off the pitch. And let me tell you, things are not going too bad. So, here we are at the schedule, as you can see. Our opening game of the season, we won 2-0. We won the next two as well, so we won the opening three games, which was very encouraging. Then we've hit a, a patch of form where we're losing away, winning at home, thankfully. But a couple of the games we've lost away to Elche and Real Madrid B, 3-0, 3-0. Well, we got hammered, really. Uh, it wasn't even as close as 3-0 would suggest. So I've made a, a little tweak to the tactic and we've gone to Granada and we've got a draw so hopefully we've stopped the rot there today we entertain Espanyol so what else do you need to know um, transfers we've brought some people in not sure if I told you about these guys last time I don't think so Yan Ateki I've spent money I've spent money people I didn't <laughs> I didn't really mean to but I brought him in he's gonna do a good job but he's, he's cost us a few quid Carlos Romero is in at left wing back and he's on loan but he still cost us money i had to pay money to, to get him on board xl's in on a free transfer and as memory serves i think he's gone out on loan already uh, dario provado is in as a striker and he's on loan and this is why he's brought in heading 16 jumping 16 uh, good numbers hopefully we can take advantage of that uh, at set pieces but today is all about league action um, oh one more thing I need to tell you staff I've brought in a new assistant manager and he's got a tactical knowledge of 17 he has also got scouting knowledge North Macedonia Serbia and Algeria extensive scouting knowledge but he really is here for his tactical knowledge He's a, an improvement on the last guy. So hopefully that will pay dividends. I do rely now on my assistant manager for opposition instructions. So today we take on, as I say, Espanyol. Um, I'm going to a balanced mentality because we are at home. And the change that I made was in transition. Instead of counter press and counter, I've dropped it back to regroup because we were getting overrun at times. So that is who we're going, the team we're going with today. Hopefully we can get a result. And the way that uh, the teams at the top, the points are on, if you do have a couple of bad results, you'll drop like a stone. So we need to keep winning, particularly our own games, to keep us where we are. So uh, it's important that we make full use of home advantage so let's go out there and get a result not a fantastic response to that so a bit more encouragement for the boys right opposition instructions this is where our new man is going to earn his corn hopefully he knows what he's talking about so let's make a start so Espanyol get things out of the way come away with it down this right hand side but Jose Angel's nicked in to end the highlight which is good doesn't seem to be much happening we've had a shot albeit off target so we play out from the back Sanchez out to Romero on the near side in field to Jose Angel Lucas back to Romero Looks up, picks out Lucas, who comes inside, Jose Angel, 
a little bit hesitant so it's back to Jamie Sanchez Jose Angel again he goes backwards Villares Valcarce and we're in with a chance here and it's a save and a corner so Lucas to play this one in it's over Dario's head so not a great delivery Paris Adot gets it in again and the keeper catching practice for him bit of encouragement which they like to hear but it's a corner to Espanyol on this near side over it comes and we have we've dealt with it hoofed away but it looks like it's going to come back field Olive Van out to Joaquin on this near side gets his cross in there's a header and an easy catch for our man between the sticks so I think demand a little bit more He's got the offside there, hasn't he? Surely. Come on, ref. Thank you. So, five minutes to go to half time. Be nice if we could nick one right now well Carse there's a the ball out to Paris a dot well Carse back to Paris a dot he's got plenty of time and space I don't know what that was all about he should have done much better with that anyway Romero wins the header there's a minute added on there's still time to get this up to the sharp end Yanateke, Jamie Sanchez. That's a ball forward to Valcarce, infield. Jose Angel, out to Romero. Lucas, can he whip this in? Can Romero whip this in? Can Lucas, can anyone get it in? Lucas is in the box, he's got to shoot. Cannon's off the defender. Made room for himself, but nothing came of it. And we need to deal with this situation. And we should do. Time is almost up for this first half. And it will be now. So we make it to half time, not been that positive but it's not been bad, so I'm happy with how we've dominated possession, did we? I can't remember, um, you've all done well so far, keep going, make sure you get the win you deserve, let's tell them that, again, a pretty poor response. So once more, they need a bit more encouragement. I'm going to leave it at that, I think. So let's go and update the opposition instructions. 
and he's not done us too bad so far. So we get things underway. Paris a dot. Who needs to calm down because he's been booked. Jamie Sanchez brings it forward. Romero on the far side. Down the line to Lucas. Inside to Jose Angel. Back to Romero. Highlight ends. And there's another booking we've taken on. So corner to them. And they seem to be having lots of time and space. But they've skied it, which is good. So I think we need to work the ball in and be a bit more expressive, boys. Nothing on target as yet, but it's a throw to us near side. Paris a dot. Infield. Yanateki. Jamie Sanchez. Yanateki. Jose Angel making strides into the box. He's going to shoot, and it's a decent save. The keeper got well behind it, but it's out for a corner. Let's highlight our man there, Dario. Let's see if we can get on the end of this. He's still with us, Belcarce. Infield. Drives towards the box, shoots, it's over the top. What happened to working it into the box, Mr. Valcarce? You're not listening, are you? So, let's demand a bit more. So, Romero. Coming out from the back, down this left-hand side. We've still got it, Dario with it, shoots, and it was on target, and again, a save for the cameras by the keeper. But it's a bit more encouraging. Eight shots, three on target, and we're boss in possession. I don't feel the need to make any subs, to be honest with you. Free kick, Lucas with it. He usually does better than that. I think it was a save, to be fair, by the keeper. So there's Dario, highlighted, waiting for this to come in. He's going to attack this near post. He's going to have a run up at it. Need a good delivery. Here it comes. Weren't a great delivery, and he didn't get his head on it. So, Jamie Sanchez. Romero over it comes and comes to nothing five minutes to go and it's a corner to them I've got a funny feeling in my bones over it comes Bit of a crowd scene there, and we clear it for the time being. And the highlight ends, a couple of minutes to go. So we're into time added on, there's just three minutes. So it looks like this is going to trickle out to a draw. It's not a disaster, but it's going to be two points dropped, unless we can do something amazing in this last couple of minutes there's 30 seconds left Paris a dot forward to Valcarce won't get on the end of that I'm afraid and they've got time to bring it forward surely not now this would be cruel And it's cleared. A 
and that should be all she wrote and it is so what do we tell them I'm sort of semi pleased semi disappointed I have to sympathize with you all things didn't go our way tonight that's pretty much how I saw it um, so individuals who are only composed and I would like them to be a bit more upbeat about what they've been told so um, I thought he did well yeah they seem pleased so what does that mean in terms of the table it means we're up to second with a draw but everyone else has got a game in hand on us and if you if you look at the points look as as far down as uh, Tenerife in ninth um, are only only two points behind us so we are we are gonna have to be careful but anyway uh, I hope you've enjoyed the video today if you have please drop a like uh, leave a comment good bad or indifferent always welcome comments and of course uh, you know what I'm gonna say now hit that subscribe button you know it makes sense okay everyone thanks for joining me and I'll see you in the next one